What are ISO standards? What do the terms EN and BSEN mean? And which versions of these standards should you follow in your jurisdiction? In this video, I'll be covering the answers to these questions. Number one, ISO standards. Standards are documents which specify requirements for processes, equipments, workmanship and parameters. They are often used as the basis for contracts between businesses and are produced by a committee of experts drawn from interested organisations and are based on current industry knowledge. They cover a wide range of subjects in a wide range of industries, not just limited to medical devices, but also many other sectors. ISO denotes a worldwide standard issued by the International Organisation for Standardisation. Number two, EN. EN denotes a standard which is adopted by the European Community and is controlled by the European Committee for Standardisation, CEN. Once an international standard has been adopted as a European standard, it is then named with the prefix EN. The changes are relatively minor and are to ensure that they are aligned with the EU regulations at that given time. Number three, BSEN. BS denotes British national standards, which are controlled by the British Standards Institute, BSI. Hence, once a standard has been adopted by Great Britain, it is then prefixed with BSEN. The changes again are relatively minor and are to ensure that they are aligned with the British regulations at that given time. Number four, which standard should you be following? If you are a Great Britain based manufacturer, you should follow the BSEN ISO version. If you are based in the EU, you follow the EN ISO version. And if you're based elsewhere, you can follow the regular ISO version, which is internationally recognized. Ultimately, there is very little difference between ISO, EN ISO, and a BSEN ISO standard, with all three demonstrating a proven commitment to a set standard only exhibiting small changes in line with the regulatory differences seen across the different jurisdictions. If there are any other topics you'd like for me to cover in future, then either leave a comment below or send me a message. If you found this information valuable, then please like and share with your network. And if you've not already done so, please subscribe to my channel.